This conference will now be recorded. Okay. So we spoke about basic data types, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. We spoke about advanced data data types, mm -hmm. right? Uh, mm -hmm. We even looked at some of the examples, okay? Uh, like yeah. how to to collect a raw complex integer. Um, we we uh, we did um, um, uh, factor. We spoke about factor, right? So mm -hmm. factor. Okay. So uh, if you talk about uh, linear uh, linear uh, or one dimensional data structure, mm -hmm. it is mm -hmm. vector. Mm -hmm. And what we saw that in vector only one data type. Yeah. Uh, it, it, it should belong to same data type. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah, then it's a collection of about, more than one values, but the values must be same, right? Same data type, yes. Yeah. Then mm -hmm. we spoke about list. In list, mm -hmm. we said that it's it is similar to one dimensional. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. but then here you can have multiple data types. Yeah, like matrix or function. Yes. And it can also store vector. Yes. Okay. Okay. Uh, then we spoke about uh, metrics. What is metric? Um, it's also a like a collection of data elements, but uh, it's uh, it's two dimensional. And uh, it it should be a multiple and or some multiple of data elements. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Then we spoke about factor. Remember what we discussed? Factors. Uh, but, uh, uh, array. What is array? Array. Array is. Um, Like multi-dimensional. Array can yeah, multi-dimensional, and uh, it it can only store one data type, and uh, yeah. like a it, and it also takes a vector as an input, and uh, okay. then we use the values in the uh, like dimensional parameter parameter to create like a array. Okay, what is factor? Right. Factor is uh, like if we create um, it is used to like categorize the data and uh, it can store both uh, characters and integers. Uh, it's um, no, 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 in, yeah, it in, can store characters and integers, but and internally it it stores them as, yeah, internally it stores them as numbers only. Okay, Num so zero okay, and one, numbers. and based oh, yeah. on the and alphabetical order. Yeah, alphabetical order. Okay. Yeah, and okay. it's so also a repetition of the elements, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, repetition because when it, it's a category, right? Category will mm -hmm. have a lot of repetition. Yeah. Okay. Then talking about data frames, what are data frames? Uh, it's or uh, it's when we create want to create a table and it's a two dimensional. It's like an array uh, in which the column contains the value. It's a two dimensional. Sorry. Yeah. It is a table, two of course. Okay, it's it is a table, two dimensional table. In table, mm -hmm. what you have the first row is your header. Yeah. And rest of the rows are your record. Each row represents one record. Mm -hmm. Okay, the so first row is your column and from second yeah. row onwards each of them represents one record. So when you look yeah. at uh, the blue mark here, gender, height, mm -hmm. weight, age, these are mm -hmm. your headers. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. And uh, uh, what you have like male, height 152, 81, 42, these are one record. One record yeah. means all of these are interlinked or, or the, all these are related. Mm, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Each column has uh, values, right? Yes. 
of one variable yeah. yes okay mm, so it has okay. yeah it has related yeah i understand but i don't know how to explain <laughs> no so you need to learn how to explain to me not yeah. to me yeah okay mm -hmm. But to you know, uh, interviewer or you know, teacher. Okay. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Let me go to the next page. So you have variable names, okay? Variable names you cannot declare, okay? Um, so okay, so let let's understand two things. Variable names can have alphabet, can have numbers, okay? Mm -hmm. Alphabet, numbers, and two special characters are allowed, which is underscore and dot. In okay. R, in other languages mm -hmm. dot is also not allowed, but in R. You have alphabet, mm -hmm. number, underscore, and dot. Okay, mm -hmm. these things are allowed. Okay. But your first um, uh, name, first character of a variable name, cannot be a number. Mm -hmm. The first character of your name of the variable name can be mm -hmm. a alphabet or dot. Dot. You cannot have underscore or a number. So variable names can have alphabet numbers. First mm -hmm. character can be a dot or an alphabet, not mm -hmm. a number, not a underscore. Underscore. Okay. If the first character is a dot, mm -hmm. then second one cannot be a number or underscore. Mm -hmm. It has it to be, be alphabet. alphabet. Okay. Mm -hmm. And once you have these two things sorted out, then anything can follow. Okay. Mm -hmm. Percentage is not allowed. That's why it's invalid. It starts with number two. That's why it's an invalid. Mm -hmm. Okay. It starts with dot before it can have dot in between, it can have underscore in between. That's why all these are valid. Again, mm -hmm. dot number cannot be valid. Mm -hmm. Okay. I cannot start with underscore. That's why it's invalid. Okay. Okay. Now, finding variables. LS will give you the list of all the variables that you have declared. So you can uh, note it down. LS list. List will tell you all the variables that you have declared in that session. So in R mm -hmm. Studio. Oh. Um, if you don't mind, can you can I take 10 minutes break? Yeah, sure. sure. Okay, I've got one urgent call from my office. Okay, no problem. Give me 10 no minutes problem. break. Exactly in 10 minutes we'll meet, okay? Okay, okay. Yeah. This conference okay. will now be recorded. Okay. So if you see, you're talking about LS list. So if you see here, environment, mm -hmm. all the variables that we declare is saved. Okay. So. Mm -hmm. So if I go here and say okay, so you see here A and color mm -hmm. is all stored here. So if I say print list, okay, and if I run mm -hmm. this statement, it will give me a and color. Mm -hmm. These are the variables that I have used. Okay. 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 Now, mm -hmm. RM is to remove that. So, next example that you see, RM. RM. RM, and you give the variable name that you want to remove. It will remove from mm -hmm. the list. Okay. So, let's mm -hmm. say I want to remove A. I don't want A. So, I will say RM A. Mm -hmm. Okay, and it's gone. See, A is not there. Okay. So mm -hmm. if I say print LS, you get only color. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Not very useful, but yeah, good to know, kind of. 
yeah sometime mm -hmm. yeah sometimes yes okay so these this is basic we have covered basic now let's go to operators mm -hmm. now these are different operators arithmetic relational logical assignment and miscellaneous let's understand each one of them arithmetic mm -hmm. operators are your plus minus into division and you know what they do right mm -hmm. so yeah. now let's write a program to add two numbers okay so mm -hmm. i am saying num1 equal to say 5 num2 mm -hmm. equal to 10 mm -hmm. sum equal to num1 plus num2 okay and yeah. print sum so let's understand this this is first variable and what we are saying is please store value 5 in first variable mm -hmm. okay then we are declaring second variable and we are saying let's store value 10 in second variable mm -hmm. now we are saying third variable sum is sum of two numbers we are saying number one plus number two and now i want mm -hmm. to print the value of sum it is 15. this is your okay. first program yeah. mm -hmm. okay so you want to write it down mm -hmm. yeah so you yeah. got your first program today yeah yeah i that? already wrote it down yeah mm -hmm. okay perfect uh So mm -hmm. I was thinking what to do. Now write a program, okay? To mm -hmm. uh, so you can take this as an assignment. You can do show me tomorrow, okay? Okay. Write a program to find sum of three numbers, sum and average of three numbers. Sum of what? Um, sum of average. Sum sorry, sum and average of three numbers sum and average yes. of th any three numbers yes okay okay yeah nice good yeah Uh, so now let's move ahead. In you said sum and average. If we I yes. want to take average, then I have to like put an average. No, you have to divide by three. So if you have three numbers, yeah, you will just I sum by three. Divide. A B C equal to sum by three. Okay. We'll okay. talk about functions. Okay, that's what you just said is function, and we'll talk mm -hmm. about function in some time. Okay. Okay. We'll talk about function in some time. Okay? Yeah. Coming back to our program. Okay. So, um, this what you see here is vector V and T. We have two vector. Okay, and if you say vector one mm -hmm. plus vector two, it will add corresponding elements. It will add two plus eight, ten, five point mm -hmm. five plus three, that is eight point five, mm -hmm. and six plus six four, which three. is ten. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Subtract v minus t. So each element of the vector will be minus. Mm -hmm. Two minus eight minus eight, six. Eight. Okay. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. Multiply, same thing. It will multiply each element of the vector. Mm -hmm. yeah, divide will divide each element of the vector. Okay. Mm -hmm. So this is your uh, arithmetic operators plus okay. minus into division. Then you have something called as percentage percentage. Mm -hmm. What does that give you? Can you read this? Percentage percentage to by eight multiply by hundred. No no no. Uh, mm -hmm. Read that this percentage person. What does okay. this percentage give? Give the remainder of first vector with the second. Right. 
remainder. So if I say okay. 10 percentage percentage 3, it will give me what? It will give you the remainder of the. So what's the value? First... 10 percentage percentage 3. What should it give me? Uh... If you divide 10 by 3, mm -hmm. okay. So uh, what's the value? Three point something, right? Mm -hmm. Right. So that something is a remainder. So yeah. when you divide ten by three, three into three is nine. What is left is one. You forgot one. what is remainder? What is question? Okay. Yeah, no, I know. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 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 So what is the remainder? Yeah. Then. Okay. So let's say I, I do twelve percent is three. Then what? What do you get? 12 percentage by 3, right? Percentage, percentage 3. Remainder is 0. Awesome. You are right. Remainder is 0. Now, one more uh, thing before we go. 14 percentage, percentage 3. 2. Okay. 2 is remainder. That's, that's right. 2. Okay. So, percentage, percentage will give you the remainder remainder now oh, okay, okay. there's something called as pi divide division between percentage per, between percentage there's a division mm -hmm. okay what does it gives you it will give you quotient so what is the question when you okay. divide 14 by 3 it's a 4 right you are right it's 4 mm -hmm. okay. now tell me okay percent okay percent percentage is that just a remainder and, yes okay Okay. And percentage slash percentage is your That's the question. question. Yeah. Now you tell me what is the difference between line number five and six without running it? Five in six. Uh, in five it's a quotient, and in six it's a divide. Yes. So, so the answer the... of the five answer of the five is one second. Uh, answer of the five is four, and answer of the Six is four point something like that. You're right. right. You got it. Yes, mm -hmm. that's great. Okay, so that's what it yes. means. Okay. Now you have something called as exponent. Exponent mm -hmm. means power. Mm -hmm. Okay. So if I say print three, exponent is your shift. Sorry, uh, shift. Yes, shift six. That symbol above on this keyboard six is okay. a caret symbol. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So mm -hmm. three caret two. What should mm -hmm. be the answer? I don't know the exponent. I mean, I forgot. <laughs> three to the power two. Three raised to power two, right? Okay. Yes. Okay, what does okay. that mean? It means nine. It means nine exactly. So these are some of your arithmetic operators. Arithmetic means mathematical mm -hmm. operators doing performing okay. arithmetic operation. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. Then you have relational operators. Okay. Mm -hmm. So here in relational operators, you have to you have to be careful. Okay. The reason why you should uh, remember all these things because when we are performing any kind of programming, we need to be careful mm -hmm. about what the output of the operation will be. Mm -hmm. In relational operation, okay, mm -hmm. the output is true or false. You are checking relationship. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. You are checking relationship. <laughs> so if I'm asking mm -hmm. A greater than B, this is greater than symbol, mm -hmm. right? So it means yeah. I'm asking, is A greater than B? Mm -hmm. Okay. It's like asking mm -hmm. a question. Question. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Like V uh, is greater than T. So 2 is less than 8. So it's false. And 5 yep. is greater than 2. So it's true. Yep. 5.5 is greater than 2.5. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
so if i say print six less than four what would be the output false is six less than four no false of course mm. false okay mm. okay see equal to if i say a equal to five it is mm -hmm. assignment operator we are assigning value mm -hmm. five to a five. Yeah. now i want to check if a equal to five mm -hmm. so here we have to give double equal to five double equal to means you are asking. checking asking mm -hmm. a question it's a relational operator so the moment you put double equal to it is a relational operator you are asking if you know left mm -hmm. hand side equal to right hand side if you mm -hmm. give single equal to it means you're assigning the right yeah, side assigning. value to left mm -hmm. side mm -hmm. okay so if i say print 6 equal to equal to 4 what do you get answer false exactly is 6 equal to 4 answer is no okay mm -hmm. so this is equal to then similarly you can have less than equal to greater than equal to not equal to okay mm -hmm. so is six greater than equal to four yeah Two. is six greater than equal to six it's true no it's i mean how equal to i'm asking is six greater than, greater than or equal to six True. Yes, six is equal to six. So asking is six equal to or greater than? Of okay. course, it is equal one, to. Okay. So one of them can apply, right? Yes. Okay. Is six less than or equal to six? True. Yes, exactly. So you get true. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that is about uh, less than, greater than, not equal mm -hmm. to. Um, so let's see. Is six not equal to six? False. Because six is equal to six. Mm. Okay. So these are your relational operators. Remember them. When we do programs, you have to remember arithmetic operators, relational operators. Okay. Mm. Next, we have logical operators. So here we are checking checking logic. Mm -hmm. Okay. So uh, some basic uh, we have to discuss here. Mm -hmm. Okay. So um, I'm going to say a couple of sentences in English. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You tell me if. Uh, 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 if I am true or not, or true or not, not. okay. Mm -hmm. Logical operators will also give you true or false, okay? Logic, it's all about logic we're talking about here. I am mm -hmm. saying, Jaspreet and her friend went to college today. That's the sentence, sentence I'm making. Mm -hmm. Jaspreet, that's your name, right? Jaspreet. Yeah. Correct? So Jaspreet and her friend went to college today, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. Now, you tell me I am right or wrong, and information is only Jaspreet went, her friend did not go. So, am I lying or am I saying correct truth? Am I speaking truth or am I t telling a lie? Only Jaspreet went to college, her friend did not go. Okay, that's the information you have. Mm -hmm. And I am saying Jaspreet and her friend went to college today. Mm -hmm. So, it's a false. It is false. Jaspreet went to college today. Is it true or false? Yeah, it's true. Her friend went to college. Is it true or false? No, false. False. And if I say true and false, it is false. It's false. Remember that way. Mm -hmm. If Jaspreet went to college, it's true, but her friend did not go, and I'm using and that means it is a false. One. Mm -hmm. False. Okay. Now you mm -hmm. tell me one thing. Jaspreet went to college. Jaspreet or her friend went to college today. Jaspreet or her friend mm -hmm. went to college today. So it's true. Am I, 
Um, it's because it's I'm saying just with or. or yeah or either just with or mm -hmm. to college today. So in either case, it is. Uh, uh, you know, it's true. Uh, for yeah. true because even one mm -hmm. it's true, it's true. Okay? Yeah, mm -hmm. you're right. Okay, so remember, mm -hmm. if it is and, both mm -hmm. condition has to be true to be okay. true. Mm -hmm. If it is uh, or, even one condition mm -hmm. is true, it is true. Okay. 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 Mm -hmm. So and is represented as double ampersand. Or is represented as double pipe sign. Pipe sign is your uh, mm -hmm. the key above enter. Key above enter. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, then you have something called as bitwise operator. So this is full operator. And mm -hmm. this single ampersand, a single pipe is called bitwise operator. In bitwise operator, we are checking each member and giving the answer. Okay, so mm -hmm. if you have V and T and 3 and 4, it is mm -hmm. comparing, it's doing and for each of the values. Mm -hmm. And if you're doing ampersand, it does for all and you get only oh. one answer. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. And similarly, you have not bitwise not. Okay, mm -hmm. bitwise not is for just like and bitwise and. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then last uh, topic for the day, we'll discuss this, and then mm -hmm. I'm going to uh, you take the screenshot of this. Just take a screenshot of this. You try to solve okay. I got as many it. as possible. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Try to solve this. And with, with this, our first topic is done. Okay. Mm -hmm. And we'll be mm -hmm. doing a few programs before we move ahead into if condition and for loop. Yeah. These are called assignment operators. Okay. Assignment means what you're assigning values. Mm -hmm. So, as I told on the day one itself, less than hyphen or equal to or double less than hyphen are called left assignment left. because left assignment okay mm -hmm. because value is on the right hand side variable is on the left hand side so you are assigning the right hand side to the left hand side okay okay and mm -hmm. just the reverse here equal to is not there the reverse hyphen greater than hyphen greater than greater than both are called right assignment in this case a value will be on right hand side and variable will be on the left hand side okay so here a equal to 6 b equal to 7 c equal to 8 these are all left hand mm. left assignment because mm. cover 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 because the value is on the right hand side and variable is on the left hand side left hand side okay yeah so now if let's say d equal to 9 and e 10 sorry what i am doing I think it's wrong oh you have to put 9 no no no, no. Mm -hmm. i was looking at somewhere else okay so these are your left side value is going arrow see 10 is going to e 9 is going to d 8 is going to c these are all left left up, uh, assignment but here value should go from right hand side to left hand side a mm -hmm. okay so value 6 is getting into a 7 is getting into b 8 is getting into C, 9 is getting into D. So these are all left side of uh, assignment and these are all right side assignment. So what's the difference? There's no difference. This is how you represent. How, how we write, right? Yes, yes. Okay. We, if, if we can write anyway, it's the same. It's the same. There is minor, very minor difference. I'm going to tell you later. Okay. Not now, not today. Maybe okay. after a few classes, I'll tell you. Mm -hmm. There's a minor difference when we talk about scope and all. We'll talk about it. 
there is a but for now you assume that all these are same the way you represent is different okay coming back to our presentation so these are assignment operators we have seen and these are called special operators Mm-hmm. Colon, colon. We have seen on the day one itself. When you say two colon eight, it becomes two, three, yeah. four, five, six, seven, eight, mm-hmm. including eight, goes up to eight, right? Okay. Mm-hmm. Then you have something called as percentage in percentage. Mm-hmm. This is to check if a value belongs to. So the second right hand side belongs to left hand side or not? Okay. Mm-hmm. So you see here, V one is eight. And T is one, two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine, ten. So V one mm-hmm. in T is V one in T. That's what it means. Percentage means mm-hmm. yes, is true. V one in T true. Okay. Mm-hmm. Is V two in T? No, false. Yeah, right? because it's twelve is percentage. more than ten. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's what percentage in talks about. Mm-hmm. Into is is to multiply a matrix with its transpose. So it is about matrix. And again, we'll talk about it later. You no, know, we'll talk about matrix. Mm-hmm. But what it means is you are m percentage into percentage t of m. So you are mm-hmm. trans multiplying m and its transpose matrix with its transpose. Mm-hmm. So we generally use colon and sometimes we'll use in. Okay. Mm-hmm. So these are the operators that we need to learn and we are going to write programs using these operators tomorrow. Meanwhile, mm-hmm. try to solve mm-hmm. this pro- problem tonight. I mean. Mm-hmm. Day for you, okay. uh, and we'll we'll meet tomorrow. Okay. 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 All right. Okay. So now yes, we'll sir. get into programming. We'll get into programming. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You have a good day ahead. Bye. Yeah. You too. Thank you so much. Thanks. Thanks. Bye. Bye. Bye.